17th through 21st, High Vivoli. Disney Day is today. This is the last advisory dress up competition of the year. Congrats to the Paulding Track and Field team. Way to get after and beat a talented Judkins team. Our next meet is Thursday, May 27th. Good luck to all the dedicated athletes. You rock. AGHS Athletics. Attention all 8th graders, are you interested in playing sports at AGHS next year? All sports and all levels will be offered next year. In order to participate in any athletic activity, all athletes are required to complete the following steps. Be registered and have a current physical. AGHS will release the new athlete registration information no later than 521. Athletic health screening night is Tuesday 6-1-2021. Calling all freshman football players, Eagles football is pumping, ready to get on the practice field and into the weight room this summer. Complete the survey, link in the description, and try out the summer program. Did you know that Mrs. Anderson attended California State University Fullerton, majored in history, was involved in new student orientation, which helped students become familiar with the campus, and was a member of Sigma Kappa sorority, worked on campus in an office, as a student assistant during college, and when getting her teaching credentials, she worked as a waitress at Sizzle. Holding book return, it is getting close to the end of the year. Pay attention to your teacher so you know when to bring which book back. ASB officer elections for 2021-2022. Holding 7th graders, you get to elect next year's Holding ASB officers. Hello everyone! My name is Marley Smith. I'm running for ASB secretary. The reason why I chose this position is to help our ASB board improve Paulding to its fullest potential. To become a secretary is not just writing notes. It's being in a group and working with other people, which are some of my favorite things to do at school. I love Paulding, so I want to do everything in my power to make it grow prosper, and create long-lasting memories. I have been in a few leadership positions, such as I was selected team captain for the last three years for soccer games, and I was requested to be an assistant leader at camp. I feel as if I'm the best candidate for this position because I'm easy to work with, helpful, trustworthy, detail-oriented, and a good listener. Stay strong, Patriots. Vote for me to help us, the students, succeed. Have a great day, Paulding. Bye. Hi, Paulding Patriots. My name is Isabella Romero, and I'm running for vice president. When I'm asked what the meaning of being a leader is, a million things come to my mind. But ultimately, it comes down to making a connection with you, the people. Kindness, cooperation, motivation, dedication. What do all of these words mean? Well, yes, they do rhyme, but there's more than that. They all describe the qualities of being a leader. And all of these qualities, I try my best to impersonate. Not only do I have the qualities of being a leader, but I also have the experience. With four years of leadership under my belt and countless amounts of competitive team sports, which encourage one to work with team members in a unified environment. Some other characteristics that make me a fitting fitting for this role include being inclusive, compassionate, and a team player, all of which are necessary to succeed or has been a roller coaster, and I think that's something that we can all relate to. I intend to be a part of and influence this coming year into a positive and fun experience for everyone. Paulding, let's make this year memorable. Vote for Isabella. Hello, fellow patriots. My name is Charlie Colgan, running for your vice president. I stand, or rather sit before you, not only as a candidate, but as a friend. I promise to work harder on your behalf and will always be a helping hand to anyone in need. What's a good leader? A leader in my eyes is someone who rises from adversity, has compassion, teamwork skills, and a high understanding of leadership. As a former male gymnast, I've gone through trial and tribulation, and I've done terrifying stuff, but it has taught me so much and has gifted me with massive amounts of confidence, even if I wasn't at the top of the podium. Being compassionate is also one of my greatest strengths, as seen by getting multiple teacher-voted awards for compassion in elementary school. 
I feel being kind and compassionate is necessary for a good leader. I've had three years of different leadership classes that have helped me more understand how to become a good leader. With all this experience, I've learned confidence, teamwork, and better communication skills. As vice president, I have many ideas to make the school the best it can be. I have, I have ideas to make weekly cahoots or quizzes about fun topics. Each quiz will be due on Friday, and the winner is featured in the next bulletin. Also, we should highlight kids in the bulletin doing cool stuff, not necessarily through the school. For example, if one of our Patriots is going to the Junior Olympics or winning a spelling bee outside of school, they should be recognized. I'm asking for your vote today. I believe I have all these qualities to be an effective leader. I'm also asking for your help. Let us begin the journey together and make the school the best it can be. So remember, there ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from helping you. Thank you. Do you like Paulding Middle School? Me too. Do you want to have fun next year? Me too. A vote for me is a vote for fun. My name is Gavin Fitzpatrick and I want to be your president next year. I'm not the type to make promises I can't keep. What I make promises, I make sure to fulfill them. In sixth grade, I was president at Ocean View and I would love to be president again. Let's take a look ahead at a few things I would like to do if I became your president. I want to make sure that next year is as fun as possible. The first idea of mine is every Friday, we have a fun day Friday. Fun day Fridays will be special dress up days. There will be music playing before school, during breaks, and a fun lunchtime activity for students to participate in for prizes. Another idea is that at sporting events, we should have an organized Patriot Pride section. All the students would wear Paulding colors or Paulding gear. At games in the gym, I would love to get a cotton candy machine to sell along with popcorn and candy to help raise money for the school and make sporting events even more fun. I also want to create a suggestion box so that everyone can put their ideas into the school or things that they would like to see happen at school. It would be anonymous or you could put your name if you wanted to. That way people can feel like they have a voice in making our school even better. I am a good listener because your opinion matters. I have great social skills and love to get along with everyone. I'm respectful of my peers and teachers. I love being collaborative and working with others to make ideas come alive. And I'm tenacious and I never give up on my dreams and I know I won't give up on making this eighth grade year the best year yet. I'm qualified, I have the drive, I want to have fun. Vote, vote for Gavin and you'll be having a really fun year. Hi, my name is Finley Walls and I am a seventh grader at Paulding. Um, I am running for student body president. Um, as we all know, last year was a really hard year for everyone. Um, with COVID and distance learning. Um, for me, school wasn't really something I looked forward to, but now that we're back at school, I look forward to going to school every single day. As student body president, I wanna make the students at Paulding look forward to going to school and show them that school can be a really fun and exciting experience. I also wanna provide fun activities and make eighth graders have an amazing last year and make seventh graders have an exciting first year of middle school. I look forward to working with the student body and making positive changes at school. One idea I have for making school a more welcoming place is pairing 8th graders with 7th graders as buddies. Uh, so the 7th graders can have someone to go, with, with, go to with questions and even if they just need a little bit of help. That is one of the many ideas I have for Paulding. I think that I would make a great president because I am an amazing listener and know how to solve problems in a thoughtful and calm way. Um, make sure you guys go and vote on Friday, May 21st. Have an amazing day. All right, it's time for Student of the Week. Who will it be this week? We're going to start with Blue Crew Students of the Week. It's congratulations, Jacob Holt and Mason Corner for Team 30. Jacob, you are bright and energetic. You set an example of leadership by participating in class, that you're a great problem solver and that you took first place in the shot put on the track and field. Congratulations, Jacob. Mason, Mason, you're consistent and courteous. You're quietly determined, you check for your own understanding, and you're a hard worker and actively participate. Thank you both for being so awesome. We appreciate your high-level work and your bright personality. 
All right, Team 40 Student of the Week is Judah Jansen. Although Judah joined us late in the year, he has made a big impression. Judah is always someone who is kind and easy to be around. He regularly volunteers and is encouraging to his classmates. His top-notch communication skills are so impressive to his teachers. We are so proud of you, Judah. Congratulations. All right, students of the week for Team 50, we have Sean Oxner and Audrey Smith. Sean is an, an, an analytic maven. His critical chops are next level and his cerebral calculations are zenithal. We applaud your academic aptitude and we appreciate the zing of flavor and the pizzazz you add to class. 50 cheers for you, Sean. Audrey Smith. Audrey is a dichotomy of the most amazing sort. She is sweet and diligent, and she concocts the spookiest stories you would ever dread to hear. Audrey's prose will terrify all, while her lovely empathy comforts and supports. Congratulations, Audrey and Sean. All right, Team 60 Student of the Week is Angelo Hernosa and Eleni Comey. All right, Angelo always has his camera on during the Google Meet and is one of the first to speak up during class discussions or to volunteer answering questions. His work ethic and organization is top notch. Angelo has earned the honor of being one of Paulding's PE best. He's had the best attitude all year and has maintained his drive to do well, no matter what the circumstances. Eleni says hello or good morning every time she enters class and always says thank you on her way out the door. During distance learning, we could count on her to have her camera on and participate during class. And that hasn't changed since return we've returned to in-person. Eleni volunteers to answer questions and isn't afraid to get a question wrong. She's an all-around solid student with a great attitude. Congratulations, Eleni. All right, let's hear it for Paulding's wonderful students of the week. Hi, I'm Emmy. I'm Marissa. And in the next couple of days, we're going to be releasing how-to videos for next year's 7th and 8th graders. We'll be showing you how to open your locker lunch tips, organizational skills, and some little sports tips. You'll be able to find these all on our channel. And if eighth graders, if you have a tip that you want to share for next year, be sure to email us at polling at lvsd.org. See you next time. Finish strong polling. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow our other polling media on Facebook and Instagram.